Okay everybody, this is going to be the beginning of the build for the Tech One MXS EPP 3D plane. Uh, the first step what we're going to do is we're going to glue the main fuselage parts together, the wings to the center brace, the elevator piece, and to do this step what I'm going to be using is my favorite um, foam tack adhesive. You're going to need um, foam tack adhesive. The instructions say that you can use foam safe CA, but I like the foam tack. It's a contact cement. You're going to need that and you're going to need some masking tape. Um, this goes together pretty straightforward like a jigsaw puzzle. As you'll see here on the wings, this is the right wing. There's notches here and here and it matches up to the fuselage so you can't Put the wings on the wrong on the wrong side here so this has two pins here two larger pins on the wing that goes there the left side has two smaller pins and it's going to go here like that as you can see here and then the rudder as you'll notice here this is notched and it just goes into place like this as you can see here. So we're going to glue that up with again my foam tack, uh, foam tack glue here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold all the pieces in place with some just regular masking tape until it's dried. So let's do that. So we're going to take our foam tack, see, foam tack glue here Just put some glue here on one side of the wing here. Now foam tag glue, as you can see here, just lay down a good bead of glue. And then what I like to do is then just, as so you can see here, I don't know if you can see it, a good bead of glue here. We're going to press the two pieces together here, like this. And what foam tag glue glue is it's actually like a contact cement so what I like to do is I like to press it together just a couple times like this and to put glue evenly on both sides and I'm going to let that sit I'm going to do the other side the same way put some glue here on this piece just putting glue on one side is all that's required and then we're going to do that to the other side here. And I like just to press them together to make sure there's equal amount of glue. Just like this. And pull it apart, let that sit. And then we're going to do the tail section here too. Put some on here. these pieces together just to make sure the glue as you can see here just make sure the glue is touching both surfaces and kind of squeezing it together to make sure it's nice and coated and I'll let that to the side now I'm going to go back to the first side of the wing that I did here make sure there's no glue on your board here let me go back to the first side of the wing I did here and now that this has dried a little bit and foam tack is like contact cement, when I press these together this time, it should probably hold pretty well. As you can see here, it's holding on here pretty good. And then what I like to do is just put a little piece of tape on here to hold it in place. I'm going to put the piece of tape on the white part so it doesn't damage the paint. Press these together nice and firm. Put a piece of tape there. Flip it over and do the same thing on the bottom here. Just right here in the middle. And put this side over here on too. While I have the plane upside down. Put 
put a piece of tape here. Flip it over again. Put another piece of tape here. But then we'll do the tail section here, same way. Push this together here like this. here in the middle here flip it over like this put another piece of tape here like this and there we go and then I'm just gonna let this dry I'm going to let this dry for about 20-30 minutes. And that's going to complete the first step. So as you can see here, that didn't take me very long. All the parts fit nicely together. And then if you want to put some weights or anything on here just to make sure it dries straight, you can do that if you choose to. We're not really too concerned about that at this time, but that is going to finish up step one. The next thing we're going to do after this is set up a little bit 20-30 minutes. I'm going to install. There's a wooden, um, a wooden brace that goes down the center of the wing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this set up. I'm going to notch this out with my X-Acto blade, and then I will put the wooden brace, the wing brace, inside there. And then step one will be completed. So as you can see, that just took me a couple minutes to do that. So. I'll let this dry up and then I'll be back for the next step. Okay, so the next step to step one, there's actually a plywood, light plywood brace that needs to be put in the wing. So what you're going to need to do is take your X-Acto blade and notch out the sections where the wings meet the fuselage. I had to trim off about a quarter of an inch to make sure this was a perfect fit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a light bead of foam tack glue on both sides of the wooden brace and then press it into place. So let's do that. What I'm doing is I'm just going to spread the, the foam tack on the wood here so I can get a pretty even coat because this is a pretty tight fitting piece. I just want good coverage of glue on both sides here. So I'm just taking my finger here just to get a good even coat of glue on the balsa here or on the plywood here. And then we'll press it into place. You don't need to go fast to do this, just take your time, make sure it's all in there nice. And then push it all the way down and center it. This is a nice tight fit piece, so that's in there now. Just wipe off the excess glue. And then that, that is actually the official step one per the instructions. So per the instructions right now, I've put the two wing halves on, I've put in the wooden brace. So per the instructions, if you're reading this, um, that is actually 
on page one here looking at the instructions that's all the first page here and then up into here the next thing I will be doing is I will be installing the upper or actually the instructions say I'll be installing the lower uh, fuselage half on the bottom of the fuselage and I'll be using foam tack glue to do that so as soon as this is dried I'll do that step